Guys, we're part of Life of a Londoner. I'm Zach. I'm Jabro. And um, today's topic, I can't let you, it last began expensive recently, have you noticed? I, I know, it's, it's been hurting my pockets. Financial choices, like you'll, you'll buy stuff, but then you won't realise until it's actually gone out of your account, like Apple Pay. Yeah, you know, it's, just, it's recently, you know, Apple Pay, I've been using it as if Apple Pay for my products. You feel that? It's like, because you don't see the physical money in it. So. <laughs> you don't see a card, you don't see cash. So until it actually leaves your, your hand. What's the dumbest thing here? Yeah, you actually spend your money on that. Okay, so... Um, let's, okay, let's not judge here. I was, what, a 14-year-old, 15-year-old maybe? If there's something dumb, I have to judge, go on. Uh, that's not needed. But I was maybe 14, 15, mm. and this is when I was obsessed with playing gaming. So what, you spent on what, V-Bucks? Uh, so basically, we had. My, I kept asking my mum, oh, can, I, can I get clothes, clothes, clothes? She gave me the money to go get clothes, yeah. like a week after, two weeks after. And then instead of getting clothes, you know, I'm like, you know, since I want to play games, mm-hmm. and this is during lockdown, so it's like, you know, I don't need clothes anymore, so I'm, I'm not going anywhere. Nice. I spent all a hundred pounds on, on, on games. games. Like, you're joking. On, not even add ons, I she, spent it on V-Bucks. She was livid, huh? She, she just laughed at me, like, now when you ask me for money for clothes... She'll never trust you. She's never trusted she'll you never ever trust again. You. No, but I don't get how you can spend a hundred pounds. You know you've given them free money. Like. I, I didn't... I got carried away. Do you still play the game? No. Useless. It's Use- it's, no, 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 but back then, back then, I thought I was boring. I thought I was... This is, this is why you don't give money to kids. <laughs> you know, a hundred pounds, you could have bought like... What? I could have bought two, three outfits back then. Three, yeah, three solid outfits. And no, I spent it on V-Bucks. No, no, but hear me out. I was a kid. That's all I wanted to do. No, but to be fair, I don't. Look, I don't blame you. I blame the system because they don't teach financial literacy. But no, you're, don't think you're off the hook. <laughs> quick, oh, wait, with that dumb choice. Quick, all this yapping. Never. No, <laughs> but no, I was, a fifteen-year-old, you should not be. It's because it was COVID. So I, 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 I talked to myself. You're saying, wearing the same fits again and again. Yeah, yeah. I, told, I said, you know, is it really? Do I really need this? Yeah, it's not worth. It. But. Okay, so what's the dumbest thing you've spent like now or like the okay. biggest financial hit? So basically, it. one day I went on TFL, yeah? Okay. I realised all, sto- yeah, all bad stories start with TFL. But there's nothing even wrong Wait with it. Wait <laughs> we, walked, we walked to our ne- destinations. Go on. Um, so I went to TFL, I tapped in. And okay. as I'm sitting on the train, I'm using my phone. Mm-hmm. My phone ends up dying. Oh, so, first of all... You shouldn't charge your phone. No, no. My, my worry is, yeah. how, do I, how do I get to where I want to go since my phone is dead? Mm-hmm. And then I realised that I can't even get out of the train station. Station without... Yeah, yeah without yeah. tapping. So I tell boss man, yo, my phone's dead. And this is, this is um, before the whole key card. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is before that. So now my phone's dead. I can't even access travel cards because it's, it's gone. Damn. So now my phone's dead and I yeah. thought, boss man, instead of asking, oh, can I charge my phone quickly? Mm-hmm. I say, yo, my phone's dead, I need to get home. I said, yo, my phone's dead. That is the rudest way to ask someone. What are you doing to say? Hello, excuse my phone's me. dead. Say, p- listen, this manners, excuse me. Sorry, my phone's died, could you let me through? And I said, yo. Okay, obviously I didn't say yo. Okay, go. maybe I did. Okay, go on, go on. <laughs> and then, yeah, so he let me through. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, you know, that means I don't need to tap out. I've saved, I've saved myself a couple of quid. Go home. Charge my phone. I sleep. I wake up twenty six pounds. You thought you were nice. I I didn't I didn't realize the system had it out for me. You, you did you know that they take money out if you don't tap out? Like, no. Yeah. It was it was, a, it was a life experience. You know they rub their hands together when they, when they see the a clock strikes died. two, <laughs> three or four a.m. Yeah, when they see that they 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 rub their hands. Together. <laughs> you got you got finesse. Did you no. call them or no? So you just got your money taken and you just charge it. Hey, it's yeah, that's twenty six pounds, you know. That's it's, it's supposed to be what maximum six pound journey. Then the, the max are allowed to take out is eleven pounds. Uh, they're allowed to take out. Yeah, so they took out max. what? They more took than double. 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 More than double. Oh, yeah, they they licked you. You know they're eating nicely now. They, Should have called them. I, I'm I'm probably still helping them with their financial issues, even though this was months back. But at least, now, at least now they like you know Apple. They installed the whole Apple yeah thing. Apple yeah. Where we, if your phone dies and you already tapped onto a train, you just 
tap the same card again. That's you know a what? big hit, bro. You know, like money as well. Like especially now in cost of living crisis. It's, you know how much? You know, one pound, like even one pound, like is worth like it's, so it's, much now. No, it's, no, it's like, worth so little. You mean? So li- no, because you, you can't get anything with it. No, but you got you got to keep your money. I'm, you know, as but as you know, last time I was talking about the Coke increase in price. Yeah, increase in price again to a pound. They increase it more. Yeah, like the can. Yeah, the can is now a pound. Yeah. What even is this the, anymore? The Freddos, Polos. Polos is 55p. You're supposed to be 50p. You know what I have? Okay, okay. Well, I think I have a pack on me right now. It says 55. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. It says 55p. It's supposed to be 50p. They, they, they increase the price a little bit. They're basically trying to eat out of your pockets in, in reality, yeah. But you just have to charge it nowadays because, you know, no, no, but the way like, the way life's going, the way the government's spending their budget is it's looking long. Why should they be spending it on polos to make it cheaper? No, but they sh- no, but like they should be, <laughs> you know, giving money to like or taxing taxing. You know, what am I supposed to say? They should be worrying about other stuff. Like, you know, they scrapped the whole HS two. Do you see they scrapped the HS two? Nope. Uh, so HS two is like the train. Yeah. In which um, it, it like goes, a, it goes through the whole UK. It was the supposed whole to, of UK. like, like it was supposed to get you places like from London to Brum in like half an hour. Yeah. And after Brum, he just scrapped it. Like he just said, he's not going to Manchester and stuff. So, so is it still going to London? Uh, yeah, no, it, yeah, London to Manny, and then London to Brum and back. Yeah, it will go there in like half minutes. an hour, thirty minutes. But that's only London to Brum. It was supposed to be like a big project, and he just scrapped it because, by the way, this was like a ten-year project, I think, and the costs were rising. Costs were rising because they were just sitting on it. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And he just scrapped it, and now he has a whole lot of money, you know, right now yeah. to spend. But I mean, I'm guessing he's uh, Rishi Sunak is going to invest it back into Rishi Sunak, literally. He's, you, you never know what he's going to do. He's, <laughs> he's a wild card. No, but I can't lie. He's, he's going he's gonna to try all he can to make it for the next general election. General election is next year, you know. Uh, already? Oh, next, we, yeah. we can vote. Yeah, we can vote. Actually, can I? Yeah, I can. He's going to be off the year. If he's smart, he'll make it April. You know the... <laughs> I, I don't want you voting, big man. Nah. What Sis, do you mean? Stay away from voting. You're not going to be voting for the best yeah, I, I Listen, I, I feel very strongly about voting, yeah. I love my country. So I'll, I'll be sure to vote. I'll be sure to vote. <laughs> guys, make sure you vote, guys. You vote, <laughs> you, listen, you can make reform. You can make, change the country. <laughs> Do you know that's crazy now? That we can actually influence who's going to be our prime wait, minister. Wait, 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 wait. Let's stop there, yeah. You see where I said to vote? Cut it. We'll start a new thing. No, no. Yeah, no, no, we'll, no, we'll start a new topic now. No, we can, we can just, cut it anytime. It's flowing. It was flowing, Was it? Yeah. yeah. I ruined it, did I? A lot of it. Uh, it was li- we literally went into the next topic. Damn. I'm sorry. No, just start, start talking again. It's fine. Um, I thought at first, you know, I thought I was a bit shaky. No? No. It was good, it was good. Was yeah, it? Yeah, we're literally Perfect. feeling off each other. Oh. And then, <laughs> okay, so just randomly start talking. Um, but you know how crazy it is that we can now influence who's going to be our prime minister? Yeah. I mean, does I've it, been waiting 18 years, you know? Does that not feel like crazy? We've been seeing everyone voting, like, saying, go, like, in year six. Polling stations and stuff, yeah. In year six, when there was an entire election for Brexit, we saw how big that was. Then Theresa May. But I didn't, I didn't, like, I used to watch the news, yeah. but whenever they saw Brexit, I just used to, like, swipe off and just try to go for the main stories. You know, I thought, like, I didn't really care about no, Brexit. Wait, I don't care about the economy. I was year six. What do I know about? Yeah, but it's still, uh, we not see it everywhere. And stuff, huh? We see it everywhere. Because yeah, it was true. literally oh, yeah, six summer, like mm. many times that entire thing happened. I mean, it changed the country. It, it changed we, the country. And, and we most of, that. most people who voted um, to leave were sixty five and older. You know, yeah. well, so, well, was actually yeah, a lot of them were. So it's like no, a lot of the younger generation voted to remain. So it's like they made the difference to the country. But it wasn't their difference to make. Do you get what I'm trying to yeah, say? Yeah, because like, yeah. they're the older ones. The younger ones are They're supposed be to pay the way for the younger generation. But, but really, I thought it would be the other way around, you know? What? The older ones choose to True. stay. No, 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 no. To be honest, they don't really care about it like that no more. You know, a lot of them are probably just going to move over to, like, what, Marbella or something and just live there for the rest of their lives. You know how it gets. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, I didn't really take an interest into politics. Like, I didn't really care about it until, like, now that I understand, I know what to vote. I know, like, I see what I like, you know? Yeah. Like, you'll read their manifesto, you'll... You, you know, see, just, 
So you, you understand but the meaning be, of it. Huh? You understand the meaning of what yeah. you're saying. And now I know what to vote for. I know how to, what, like, uh, I can make a difference, you know what I'm trying to say? I, if I can finally vote. I was waiting 18 years. Anyone, any 18 year old can make a difference. Yeah, but I can make a difference. No, oh, okay, no. I was waiting. Any 18 year old can make a difference. 18 year old plus. Always, always gonna, why are you trying to, like, you know, I, it was my moment. It was my moment. I was gonna, I, was, I felt happy. <laughs> Your moment was to vote when anyone else in the world can do that. No, at least. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> but at least it got given to me, you know, finally the right. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> but it is what it is. At least, at least we now we can vote wisely, you know. Oh, he's our next prime minister. Yeah, yeah these guys, Hopefully. please vote, vi- uh, vote wisely. Yeah, yeah, vote. Yeah, exactly. And be sure to vote. You know, you, your vote can make a difference. Um, that's that's just like so crazy, though. The fact that we've seen all of this happen around us, and now we can finally influence our surroundings. Yeah. Before our surroundings was influencing us, and now we're influencing the surroundings. But it's like it's like how much we're influencing it. I don't know. Because because if one one like let's say um, we vote for a certain prime minister, yeah. Yeah. They could. The difference that they can make, like, they could start reforming the country completely. For example, Rishi Sunak. A lot of people, a lot of the, the past few prime ministers weren't elected. Yeah. You know, they were just um, they were replacements because of what happened, right? Yeah. Um, they can st- start like changing the laws. For example, my man, what's his name, Rishi Sunak. He wants to get rid of excess oil police. You see what they were doing? Oh, that was. No, I think that might be the first time I was like. He's actually doing something good because those dogs are very scary. You seen? Do you see the video? There's one. Okay, there was a video of a girl, right? Um, which, this is the first one that I blew up. You already know, right? Like where she was getting bitten by like three guys or three dogs, and the the, the the owner couldn't even like handle his dogs, like her whole arm and everything. This was like a couple months ago. Was her arm gone? Huh? Okay. Like no, it's like you. She had a whole cast and everything. It was peak. Um, this, then of course like the cases started rising or like people getting attacked a little boy got attacked like these these excellent bullies started going out of control I don't know what it was there was like a pattern I don't yeah. know what it was. and it just spiked up then literally dog attacks that was, it was so random so he said he, he promised he, he pledged basically to um, ban American excellent bullies right um, but those those are very scary I'm but the like. protests were crazy you know the, the, the people you know the owners yeah are uh, like people would be making memes that were like, yeah, "Oh, did. my dog! Oh, it's cup. His name's Cupcake, and it will be a fat and Excel. the biggest. And there are muscles everywhere, but they have muscles on their toes. How is that possible? That's sad. <laughs> See, mu- really, their, their builds are so scary. But they've been terrorizing the streets recently. <laughs> so like, I, I get why he's, he's he will do that. You know, get yeah, like, no, it. It's, it's understandable. Right? So who we vote could like make such a different, big difference. Like you see, not gonna lie, I haven't heard anything from any other parties. I've already had parties. No, of course, like you know, Keir Starmer. He's already uh, trying to. No, but you know when they're in the house of like part is that house one of the house yeah of part, house comes yeah where they debate yeah you know when they're debating bro yeah. it's, it's like a little kid center bro it's so funny you know I I genuinely watch I, it comes in my YouTube order audience. order yeah, the speaker <laughs> they, they don't even listen sometimes do you know why do you even know why. It's because, like, you know why they like opposite each other? Like, Winston Churchill wanted it like that. He wanted it, like, to be, like... Yeah, two sides. Against arguing, each other, yeah. yeah. And that's why they're always arguing back and forth. Da, 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 da. It's, it's like a yes, it's, it's like a year three classroom. The, the, but the year three classroom, a year three classroom, but you have to refer to each person as, like, the right honourable gentleman. Or, yeah, it's, but, then, but then they go and try and violate them. Huh? They, they, they say, oh, this person, they, they, they say their tag or what they're known for. Tag, kolaha. They, they say what they're known for. Is this for. gang? This tag. <laughs> they, they, they say what they're known for. Yeah. And then they, they go call them, oh, you're not helping the country in this. You promised, you promised people this, but yeah, you haven't given you know it. why they do this, though? It's because... They undermine you, each other No, perfectly. they have to. They have to. No, my man... No, my man. The Prime Minister, he has to. Every week, he has to at least once go to House of Commons and to get scrutinised. That's the job of, like, the House of Commons. Like to scrutinize government. Actually, so, yeah, you have to make sure. Okay, let's say you put someone in power. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you have to make sure they're doing their job properly, you know? Who's gonna do, uh, uh, make them, like, make sure that they're doing their job properly? A neutral body. The, uh, what do you call it? The house, con- not really neutral, it's just the government's side. But, like, the, the, you know, they, the, they scrutinize the side. Yeah, they, they scrutinize the government. They ask, okay, let's say you've been, what have you been spending your money on? Why did you spend it on this? Da da da. Do you get him? You're giving him the power to really like, run the country. But it was, it's just so funny because they literally beck up like kids. I went, you know, when the judge shouts order. In the uh, first two times they listen. The speaker, yeah. The speaker, judge, same thing. When, when, they say, the same thing. when they say order, the first two times they stop speaking, but the third time they give up and they just continue. And the guy actually has to hit. They gamble down hard. Yeah, 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 he has to. It's, or it's, it's, if, if you say something offensive, he has a right to kick you out. Actually, to leave, like, yeah, to leave the room. 
like the uh, how's it happened before yeah if you these, like, these guys it, are 40 year olds but that's politics that's literally politics if you feel so passionate about something you'll actually probably uh, occasionally probably like let out a word you shouldn't have but I swear oh fair, fair enough Which, like that's actually like that's over my eyes I didn't expect that yeah, this is why you shouldn't vote you don't know anything about <laughs> politics <laughs> given things are so expensive yeah yeah I've got a question yeah if I ask yeah. what do you think are your hidden gems in London? Like, I know. Yeah. This one, due to social media now, I don't think it's really that hidden. But I went Camden Market and... Camden Brick- Market, classic. It's, it's a classic, because you, you have yeah, to go there. It's actually really nice. And, and now, you know, I didn't know. Like, they, they, they're trying to make it inclusive to everyone. You know, when I went there, there was, like, halal food stores. They're changing up. Yeah, Before but I would, be like, I would yeah. not expect that. No, but the food places are nice. I'll give it, it to you. There's no bits. Basically, I, they gave us, like, it, was, mm-hmm. it would be like a tortilla. Mm-hmm. It was very nice. You see it everywhere on like, uh, social media. I've always wanted to try it. I'll give it a good like 7 out of 10, but it was just... Like, okay. Like, mm-hmm. As everyone was saying, mm-hmm. everyone was saying, oh, you need to go here if you go to Camden Market. It's the best thing you're going to eat. What the prices are saying? What the prices are saying? It was £10 for two. That's two, solid. It's t- £10 for like two small ones. Like this oh, oh, small... Mm. To be fair, it is London. Yeah, it is London. And it is in one of the busiest places. It's, I'm pretty sure it's the bi- busiest street. It's market, oh, the marketplace yeah, yeah, yeah. in London. It, 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 very, very, like, bro, you know, um, model agencies, yeah. they'll go there. So, like, let's say, um, like, a model agency, they'll send two people and they'll just stand around, scout around and look for people who they think would, like, would be good models. And then they'll just, you know, okay, pick so them up. When, when do you want to go there again? No chance. Okay, my bad. I shouldn't <laughs> ask. You're crazy. Was that your way of asking me on a date? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on now. Anyways, moving on swiftly. No, but what is it? it was really nice. The, the stores there were fun. There, there was, like, this one shop while wow, there was music playing constantly and it was, like, so loud. My ears were, were numb off. But that's music. a marketplace store. You have to get used to it. Yeah, you, have to, yeah, you got used to it. The, the, there was literally nothing, like, that I didn't enjoy there. I mean, my cousin went exploring. Then went brick clean, I think. And that was also nice. Brooklyn, what's Brooklyn saying? Brooklyn was, it was lo- there was loads of vintage stores. Mm. Like old, old. Like, so it p- appeals to like the older audiences. Yeah, like Y2K fashion from the 1990s, early mm. 2000s. They're cool though, they're like hip. It was really cool. I, I really wanted to find, you know, those beanies. Which beanies? The ones, um, the one with like the red pattern on it. I don't know, I'm lost. But yeah, you'll show me a picture later. Yeah, and you, and you recognize it. But it, I wanted those, but unfortunately they weren't there. Okay, so. In terms of price, yeah. Yeah. Let's say you were given... Mm-hmm. you Okay, you individually. Let's say you went out with someone else, yeah? Yeah. You both had £100 to spend. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking that includes travel. That includes food. Yeah. Like, and logistics in general. Where would you go? Okay. And First place I'm ticking off that I can't go central. Yeah, yeah tick, no, tick off Mayfair. Tick off Mayfair. Yeah. <laughs> might as well tick off Canary Wolf or what I had yeah, you might as well. No, but those three places, no matter how, how much money... It's still gonna be it's still gonna be hurting to leave your pocket. No, but central you could you could manage around it. I mean, like it depends what you yeah. what are you gonna do at central with a. What would you do? That's what I'm asking you. Okay. You know, this this might be a a weird shout. Go on. A very weird one. I might go to Westfield. You know. Westfield. Yeah. Westfield London. Yeah. Wait, which one? Stratford or? Stratford one seems scary. Um. Um. Why is he? Why is he? Yeah. And what would you do there? Shopping, what? Well, just, just a hundred pounds shopping there. That so you went on a day out and you decided to go shopping. Yeah. I'm a changed man. Before okay. I spend it on gaming. Okay, now so I'm let's say. On actual use so how stuff. much would you spend on the clothes then? Seventy pounds. By the way, it's it's, it's two people, each person fifty pound. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot See, to add that one. You got my hopes up for what reason? So what did you do now? I don't, I'm, it's definitely not so much for this. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> lock that off. Okay. Um. What would I do? Go on. You know, th- this this is a weird activity too. I'll go top golf. Top, mm, but would it would it? Okay, top golf you can spend fifty pound, but no, like when I shoot later, tra- yeah, okay. and travel. Okay, I thought about that. You know, this is when, when I was when I was making this question. I thought, ooh, okay. That's this actually ooh. really. Have you got anything in my book? Uh, yeah, but like, okay, this is it's, it's solid. To be fair, it's cheap. Very 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 cheap. It's either. Let's see, you both have fifty pounds. You could either go, um, okay, airport ball, very very cheap. Airport what? Airport bowling, you know, airport bowling. No. But it's like, it's just airport balls, isn't it? You're like bowling, but like near airport. 
Like, like there's one next to Heathrow. Why does this exist? It's cheap. It's like three, five pound, five pound. Why? Why does this exist? Yeah, but it's far though for me. For me, I can't be asked. I, yeah. But it's something to do. I mean, you can eat after. Like, I'm sorry if you're spending five pound on bowling. Yeah, each person, you have enough money to eat after. So you have forty five. Literally. Um, what else? You could go Queensway. I'm pretty sure they have like um, bowling stuff there and like ice skating. Ah, oh, actually, I go arcade. Arcade. Yeah, twenty five pounds for the. Oh no, fifty. I'd spend pounds. more on uh, arcade. You know, like let's say you had to go. No, no, no. That, that's perfect. Thirty pound for food, twenty pound for there. Twenty pound for the. I, I, I don't know. No. More of a game. Like I'll play a long. How long do you plan to stay there for? Uh, with twenty pounds, you can stay there for at least an hour and a half. Where? What arcade? The one in Park Coil, Tempin. Mm. That's everything you need. Yeah, true. I spend more than twenty pound though. I don't know how you can really spend twenty pound. Okay, then twenty pound food. Because like, look, look. There's how, how many games are there? There's the the, the hockey ice. Uh, hockey. Last time I went there, I won seven one. I can't remember. I just remember what winning. And this oh, first was, I think, because it was. But it's, it's cost efficient. Yeah, it's that's cost what I'm efficient. saying. You can twenty pound there, and if you both have twenty pound, you put it together. That's forty pound for games. Okay, so that's that's forty pound altogether, and and then okay. Oh, yeah, and then and then you have thirty pounds for food. Mm, and then what? Twenty pound for travel. I mean thirty pound. Oh, my math is shocking. And then no, you can do twenty pound for food and then ten pound for travel. There and back, ten pound between the both of you. That don't make sense. No. Okay, you put okay, you put your hundred pounds. You put your fifty pound together. Okay. You spend forty pound on travel. Okay. And a forty pound on arcade. Okay. So you have sixty pounds, right? Then you spend another forty pounds on food. And then you have twenty pound left. Yeah. Then ten pound each on travel. That's more than enough. Yeah. True. That's that way more than enough. Actually, that that would be a really good day out. That is sorry. That's it. Uh, I'll give it to you. I I didn't think of that. I didn't think of that. Okay, let me change up now. Okay. Where would where would you go if you had to spend a tenner? A tenner. A tenner. Only a tenner. Only a tenner. You can't say a corner shop. You can't say a corner shop. <laughs> Probably my bed. Yeah. Would you, how? What do you mean? You can't spend ten pounds in your own room. I will. Oh, I'll oh, spend yeah. it on games or something. No, no, no. I will, as soon as I step out. Ten pounds already going to be gone. That's cost of living crisis. That is true. But and that's pay- why I'm saying. That's literally what I'm saying. If you had ten pound, okay, I'll, I'll make it easier okay, for you. Yeah. Nah. Ten pound don't include travel, but it includes food. Okay. Um. Okay, I need to think of. Go on. <laughs> Actually, wait, 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 wait. The museums. Hold on a minute. Oh, the free ones. Like the. History. All of them are free. Like, come on. What do, you, what do you mean the free ones? Know. What museums it's have a, you been to? I don't know. I've been to Science Museum. museum oh, Science like Museum is so much fun. I went when I was like five. I haven't been since. But was, okay, back. so wait, wait, wait. So let's say you go to Science Museum. Yeah. Yeah, what would you do after? How much? Oh, that's free. And yeah. then £10 a month? Yeah, £10 a month. Where though? You're eating essential? Oh, we'll uh, yeah. What? We'll find a place to eat the. For the tenor, you'll find a place to eat in Central. Okay, okay, tenor. okay, guys, guys, guys. I'm going to put you guys on. Go Select on. chicken is a new wave. You guys might not see the vision now, but in two or three years. This man I just p- said select chicken. I promise in you. In Central London? No, in Central London, of course, you're going to have to come back to ends. So, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so let me get this straight, yeah. You go to a science museum, yeah? yeah. You have your fun there. You go there for what? You explore two hours. Yeah, two, three hours. Two hours, yeah. Okay, and then after... You're hungry, yeah. You come out, you're hungry. Yeah. You go all the way back to your area just to go eat select chicken. Okay, guys, What guys, kind of logic is that? Okay, okay, guys, 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 trust me. When you eat those burgers, wow. It gives you another sense of, like... This guy's brainwashed. No, 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 no. I, I feel like I'm talking to a dodo, but... Brainwashed? I'm the one that's breaking away from society, mate. Listen, you're complying this, with this society. Is clearly, this is clearly someone, yeah. No, no, you're, 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 you're stuck in society. You, you know what Einstein right? once said? Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting yeah, exactly. a different outcome. You're going to a place in Central expecting to go eat good food. Listen, yeah, I asked you about spending ten pound. You're quoting Einstein to me. I'm it's, scared. No, no, it's, it's, it's because listen, you're not listening. Okay, well. Select chicken is the new wave. I'm telling you, in ten years, when it's a new McDonald's, when it's a new KFC, you see franchises everywhere. You're going to be saying, "Wow, well, Zach." Okay. You try to tell us, but none of us are listening. Our ears were closed. You know how sick you sound. Do you know? Do you know how sick you sound? I don't sound sick, mate. Whatever you say. Okay, okay, whatever you okay, say. Okay, I don't want to argue. Okay, tell me, Mr. Genius, Mr. No All. What? What, what would you spend ten pounds at? Um. Okay. So let me think about this one. Ten pounds. Okay. This is not including travel because I. Don't I include that travel. One. Okay. So just food, right? Um. Let me think. I'd starve. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um. Where would I go out? 
Turn on. It's, it's not. It's not very easy now, is it? Turn on. Oh, I'd go. No. Mm, not very easy now. Mm, this is this is very very hard. I can't lie. If fifty pounds is hard, imagine a tenner. No, a tenner. You could go to like a free thing, like you could go to an exhibition or something. Central London, right? Quit using the same points as me. Ex- an exhibition is different. You might to a museum. You okay, might okay. You might as well say go stand in front okay, of the. Go basketball. Go basketball. Play basketball outside. Like uh, one a uh, court. Play basketball. Yeah. Nice day out. That's nice. Go on a walk, and then after, let's say you're, you're in a like not in Central. Clearly, you're not in Central. If you're in Boston, you know you're in a solid area. Just go by, you know, wings or something. Or okay, okay, okay. Now, now let's know. compare. So I we said we can get a meal from uh, uh, Popeyes or something. Okay, no, no, no. Let, let's now compare. I gave a person a genuine, yeah, good day out. That okay, basketball. Basketball is a good day out. So, so in London, basketball is a beautiful day out. You can only do that with your guy friends. You can take one of. Uh, you yeah, but we're not. It's not a date, is it? Did you say it was a date? No. Did I, did I, in the question, did I say it was a date? Are you not no. fair enough? Exactly. So you fair can't. Enough. You can't okay, do then that. I can just say goals. Too late. I mean, I, I I wouldn't change my point. My point is amazing. And goals goals is more than ten pound. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Look, let's say you spend six pound goals. They, oh they my prices. god. They we need to price. talk about it. guys. They up the prices for goals. Do you know how criminal that is? They upped it to six pound. Six pounds. And I saw it he even. carries around a five and one pound change. It's criminal. That's like that's like um ch- um chocolates. Let's say one pound twenty five. Yeah. Yeah. They need to make a twenty five p coin at least because you want me to have one pound, one pound, a twenty p, and then a five p. You know, like and that that really annoys me. Hard. Like, of course, I'll just pay my card. Yeah, but six no. pounds for goals. Wow, guys. Criminal. I expected better. Guys from should them. be. I expected, I'm drawn on I expected you better from <laughs> I expected better from goals I mean, No but think about Okay Listen yeah This guy said goals Okay You go goals You play Have a kick about Whatever You come back You have four pound left You're telling me You're going to spend Four pound munch Select chicken I told you It's the new wave That's criminal It is that's, the new wave criminal you, anywhere, you, this guy. anywhere you need to go And you're a bit low on money Listen Did they, did they pay you for this? Did you get paid by Select Chicken? I would, I, do something. I would like to get paid, but I don't think I do. No, nah, they'll sponsor you. So you're doing this for free? You're doing this for free? Uh, for, for, for Select Chicken, you're doing this for free? Yeah. So you're, you're promoting their brand for free? Yeah, but... They don't pay you? No, but I, should, the same I should have gatekeeped it, shouldn't I? Yeah, you're an idiot. So you set yourself up. Yeah. Guys, don't go to Select Chicken anymore. I would, let's think about this. Okay. We're in year 13. We're obviously revising for our exams. Yeah. Have you got any good tips to help anyone else? I'm the last person you should be asking for tips. <laughs> but um, when I revise, yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I don't know if everyone does this, but when I revise, so let's say I have a textbook. Um, let's say I'm revising politics. There's a textbook. I'll read, 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 highlight what I like, you know. And then I'll watch a YouTube video. I always have to watch YouTube videos. There's one guy on YouTube, his name is like Alan History Nerd or something, Politics Nerd. I don't know. But he's really, really good. He basically summarizes the points for you. So let's say there's a whole page of text and notes. He'll summarize it for you. You'll say, this point, this is important. And for your spec- like your specification, your exam board, yeah. he'll tell you, this part, you're going to need this bit. They'll probably ask you to compare this bit and this bit. Like, So you can basically just highlight it on a note. Yeah. Or like... Or you can just do, um, let's say you're not doing uh, like a thingy subject, um, a real uh, essay-based subject. You could, there's different ways of like revising. So like there's a Cornell method, of course, where you like split up your page and then you write notes and then you put, you ask questions on behind the margin. So like you uh, let's say you write a point, you'll want to find out, okay, how is this like this? So let's say you write about diffusion. Let's say you're, you're doing biology, you write diffusion. Um, it moves from... Area high look high to low, right? Yeah, it's something like that. High to low. Um, you could just ask questions about that, or like, let's say it's osmosis, partially permeable. Why is it partially permeable membrane or something? You know what I'm trying to say? So that, that's a good method. But um, yeah, watch videos is definitely something I'd recommend. What about you? I would say, the way that I've really like benefited is doing exam questions. Oh yeah, of course. Exam questions, yeah, though, but I literally, agree. is learn the content by making notes, and then you test yourself by. Uh, first of all, after you make the notes, mm-hmm. the, the best way to revise, I think was that Ms. our physics teacher, Mr. Rog, told us this, mm. is you make a page of notes, but like obviously not uh, like writing heavy notes. Yeah. <laughs> you remembering our physics lesson? Huh? Do you remember? Yeah, our... yeah, yeah. Sorry. So you um, carry on. And then what is it? You do that, then you flip the page over and you mm-hmm. copy it over. And this is from memory. And you just keep on doing that up until you remember the, the notes perfectly. 
and that's literally the best way to revise. That's and I have true. to give it to him, it is, it is very good. It's funny, the heart. And then second, like a close second is exam questions. Because that just gives you the structure I agree on what you need, questions. yeah, what you need to answer the questions with. Like it stops you from waffling. If 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 you've done loads of like four markers, mm -hmm. you've become so used to it that you stopped waffling. You know how to get straight to the point. Point evidence explained. You'll know the structure. Yeah, you'll you get, you're familiar with it. And let's say you're doing a, a essay based subject here. So let's say there's probably like a thirty marker on something. Yeah. Instead of writing out the whole question, I mean, if your problem is timing, then of course you have to write out the whole question, time yourself. That is good. But if it's not timing, then um, let's say it's evaluate or something, just write, make a table and then write your points. You'd, what, what points you talk about? So you'd talk about this point, this point. In com uh, um, on the other hand, you talk about this point, this point. Just bullet point it and put it in a table instead of writing out the whole essay. Because it saves you time and it kind of gives you an idea of what you'd actually write inside um, the exam. So that's a really efficient way of studying. Yeah. I'll say yeah, th those are the best ways of studying that so, yeah. I could think of. Let us know if you do use them. You know. Uh, yeah, let us know. Sure tell, tell us if it helped or not. And if you have some, let us know too, because we'd sure love to learn as well. Be sure to credit me, yeah. Listen, yeah. If you get any, it's because of me. <laughs> Guys, this has been Life of a Londoner. I'm Zach. And I'm Jabril. Sign up.